Hi, my name is Mohan Rao, and I want to share with you my personal story, which is about uh, the challenges that I'm facing in regard to the home ownership in Mumbai. Me and my mother embarked on a search for a home within our means across the vast expanse of Mumbai in 2013-14. she retired after 38 years of service in uh, in foreign post we stayed in dombivli and she used to travel to cst every day so using our retirement proceeds and uh, coupled with a loan we decided to purchase a house and uh, we could zero in on a property in uh, ghatkopari pantnagar so we were introduced to a project in pantnagar in ghatkopar थ्रू अ ब्रोकर नेम केतन टकर उन्होंने हमें पंकज शाह से मिलाया हु वॉज द मार्केटिंग एजेंट ही एश्योर्ड ऑफ अस ऑफ द टाइमली कंप्लीशन विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ द ऑफ द डेट वेन वी मेट इन दिस ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट सो वी वी विजिटेड इम इन मे ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन एंड ही वॉज सेंग ऑलरेडी एटी परसेंट ऑफ द प्राइज इज ऑलरेडी ड्यू we also met with the builder his name is deepak rangani the name of the company is dev reality corporation so trusting the promises we booked up flat in the 11th floor of uh, the shri ram cooperating housing society paying 41% sorry nearly 41 lakhs which is more than 40% of the quoted price of which a significant portion came from my mother's provident fund returns unfortunately what became what began as a dream turned into a nightmare as the weeks passed with no visible progress in the building's construction mr pankaj and mr deepak rangani of dev reality corporation continuously pushed back the completion dates September 14 2014 became December 2014 then Jan 2015 then March 2015 eventually went silent disturbingly we discussed uh, we discussed several times with uh, Pankaj and Deepak and they have been just giving us uh, further dates we discovered that Deepak Rangani eventually became insolvent leaving the project's future in jeopardy In January 2016 the situation escalated when previous tenants forcefully reclaimed the possession of the incomplete building and the flats sparking chaos in that area so this building Shri Ram Cooperating Housing Society it was a redevelopment project the initial building was uh, demolished in 2006 and uh, the builders that is this Dev Reality Corporation promised them to reconstruct uh, the building of a uh, 12 floor uh, uh, building and wherein the initial seven floors will be given to the uh, the existing tenants now nearly 10 years had passed in january 2016 all these old tenants were were aggravated and they were not even getting their uh, rents in due so they forcefully occupied the premises we also the remaining five floors of the building were not constructed and the project has halted since uh, 2016 and the the situation where it was even till date uh, there is no progress in the remaining five floors and uh, we tried uh, we tried uh, lodging a police complaint in february 2020 we approached the pantnagar police station where uh, the police officer only took the statements of us so by us i mean me and uh, 12 more aggravated uh, buyers who have not yet received the possession all our flats are in 8th 9th 10th 11th and 12th floors i myself have booked in 11th floor i have paid 41 lakhs in this project and still i have not received any promise or any commitment or this is the time i will get my uh, flat back and uh, i'm still waiting for things to happen so we have also filed a case with rera through an agency called rera easy and uh, we filed it in uh, 
June 2020 and four years have passed three to four hearings have are over four hearings are over and the final hearing is still due some or the other reason creeps up and the hearing gets delayed months after months after months it's already been four years since we have approached trera and we have not seen any update on this issue now uh, why is this rera hearing getting uh, delayed judge retirals quorum issues pandemic several reasons they are never in dearth of reasons to push back when it comes to the justice of the common man our efforts to file an fir with the pantnagar police station has also been fruitless uh everybody is of the opinion that uh, the police is being managed the society is also st- continuing to stay in an incomplete building where the five floors are yet to be finished the building doesn't have an oc yet legally those flats cannot be sold and uh, people are continue to be in s- distress and the machinery of the state is still incapable of delivering our rightful justice and our flats